Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Read. My name's Morty. This is Indy. <laughs> she, uh, she's here with me again today, so I'm lucky enough to get her all day today, which I'm really looking forward to having. In fact, I'm so thankful that I have her today, right? Because I really feel like I need her today. Um, today is April the 17th. The time is 12.09 p.m. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day today. Um, feeling a lot of heavier energies in the air. Um, kind of feeling like maybe on a personal note, I've been going through a little bit of a tower moment this morning, just for myself. Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of heavy energies. Um, a lot of thinking and a lot of processing. Anyways, I even took a bath this morning, <laughs> which I, I'm usually not a take a bath in the morning kind of person. I'm a shower guy, um, but this morning I felt like I needed a bath. I needed to I needed to speak to my guides, and I needed to try to clear some of the heaviness um, that I was feeling. So I've been working on that right processing this morning. Uh, maybe a lot of you have been processing this morning as well, but. Yeah, so you know they say that the definition of insanity is uh, repeating the same behavior over and over again, expecting a different result. <laughs> and honestly, guilty as charged. Uh, yeah, so when my moon and rising is in Taurus, right? So sometimes I can just hang on, I can cling to something like a disease. Uh, to the point where when it no longer serves me anymore, I just can't seem to let go of things. Um, yeah, but this morning I'm just, I've been in my tower moment, uh, really processing, looking at, uh, you know, some of this personal journey that I've been on, um, of following intuition, right? Following feeling and, you know, taking action on that feeling. I mean, it's been a journey, or ups and downs, and everything else. Uh, but I feel like, especially over the last little while, I feel like I've just, I've really risen to the occasion and really stepped up and right, eliminated the pressure and um, extended, extended an olive branch, right? A very unconditional, loving olive branch, um, with pure intention. Why? Expecting a different result. But following the same behavior over and over again. Right? Expecting a different result. And the different result result doesn't come. Right? And I can just rack my brain with that of just, you know, the mental gymnastics that are going on get a little crazy sometimes. You know, and it's like, you think you're following intuition, or at least I, I felt like I was. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe I'm just a tall glass of misunderstood virtue, right? <laughs> maybe my uh, maybe my intuition has been a little bit misguided. And to be honest with you, I mean, I've been sitting here speaking with my guides this morning. I've been speaking with my guides all morning, processing this very thing. Um, and I'm a creator, so. If what I've been trying to manifest in my life, if it if it's not manifesting, right? If it's not if if those feelings aren't shared mutually, and I'm I don't have anything in the 3D to support that. In fact, if anything, I have a bunch of swords and bullshit. Then let it go, right? Let it go. Let go of that heavy weight. That's what I'm thinking for me. So. Yeah, just create something different. Uh, yeah, I think this is just my issue, you know, just I get certain things stuck in my head and yeah, I just have a hard time letting them go. So anyways, all kinds of processing going on with me this morning. And honestly, I, I, like, I don't need to share it, uh, but, I, but I want to share it because I want to be real with you guys. I want to be authentic. Um, yeah, and I don't, you know, what you see is what you get. Uh, some mornings are just beautiful and blissful and everything else. And this morning is a beautiful morning, don't get me wrong, but it's a heavier kind of morning. 
and I just don't I just don't want to hide my heaviness uh, why that would that wouldn't be very authentic right I'm just trying to be true to who I am anyways and I've I don't know and I feel like in sharing you know maybe there's a lot of you that are going through the same thing on your end um, you know go and I and I my heart goes out to you right because it's, it's not a fun journey at all I think there's a lot of growth throughout the journey um, I think definitely a person can grow individually right from going through this kind of this kind of journey but I think at some point I mean the journey's over right let the journey end um, and if you're wanting to manifest something in your life right and if it's and if you're if you're at your wits end on how you've tried to manifest it and it's not showing up for you tweak your manifestation right go a different direction um, that's what I'm needing to do right I feel that I, I feel that it's within my best interest to do that because I just don't like carrying around this these heavy energies all these heavy uncertainties right of this it's kind of a mind fuck to be honest with you right this is wishful thinking uh, and truly I mean that's I don't I hate to say that but that's kind of what it feels like is a mind fuck at least in my case so anyways thank you for letting me share <laughs> um, today is April the 17th time is 12 15 p.m. Mountain Standard Time uh, I'm Morty and I'm excited to have you guys here. Indy was just here with me. Uh, yeah, and I'm really glad that I have her here this morning, right? Because, I, oh, it just feels good to, to have her close to me. And I don't know if that makes me a sissy chump or whatever, right? I can live with it. That's okay. Um, but no, she offers unconditional love, right? And, and on a day like today, I, 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 yeah, I'm really glad she's here. So... And it's really interesting because when she's sitting up here, she can sense the energy from my guides. She absolutely can. As I'm watching her and watching her look around um, and study, she definitely senses the energy, right? And, and I can always feel their energy, which is amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. Uh, so grateful. So the first thing we want to do is pull an affirmation card for today's Tarot Love Read. We just want to see which affirmation would be best suited taking us in today's, into today's Tarot Love Read. Okay, beautiful affirmation. Scoop my chair up. Let me grab a drink of coffee real quick too. By the way, the background music that I have playing is the deepest healing. I thought it seemed appropriate today, so some good soothing vibes. Opening affirmation taking us into today's Tarot Love Read is creativity. Great number, 33. Oh, I love that number. It reduces to a six. Love that number too. Creativity. By all above and all below, let me connect, let creativity flow. By all above and all below, let me connect, let creativity flow. By all above and all below, let me connect, let creativity flow. I'm still thinking, I'm still in my head, you know. And sometimes we can just feel downright fucking foolish, foolish, right? To, yeah, if we're following it, what we think is intuition, right? And it doesn't work out, right? 
get the slap, whatever, right? It's it's the, you know, in the 3D, um, what you feel is rejection on the highest level, the kind of rejection that sucks all the energy out of you. That makes you step back and say, now what the fuck was I thinking, right? That's kind of been my experience. And here I am today, right? Still hanging on to it. Why? Why? <laughs> Following feeling. Yeah, I don't know. Tall glass of misunderstood virtue. All right, we have the lover's card, <laughs> the card of Gemini. All right, so some of you could be in a relationship with a Gemini or you may be a Gemini. Let's not get too hung up on the zodiac sign though. It's more of the energy that it represents and it represents the energy of two people, two people coming together in the 3D. It's not wishful thinking. <laughs> it's not following some dead end, right? This is literally coming together in the 3D, right? Feeling each other, talking together. Yeah, it's real. It's a beautiful thing. It's a union that's blessed by the heavens above, represented by the doves, tying these two off. To be honest, I love the way they hold each other. Um, there's a deep sense of connection and intimacy there between these two people. It's powerful. It's beautiful love. Okay, we have the world card, which is the end of a long journey, right? Um, it's graduation time for somebody. Graduation meaning you have learned all the lessons that were meant for you to learn, right? Throughout this journey, you're graduating now. Meaning you don't have any more lessons to learn, right? There's no sense in repeating the same behaviors over and over again. No sense in going back to relearn what you've already learned, right? This is a good opportunity to allow these energies to pass now. Allow this graduation to happen. Accept your certificate with pride. <laughs> She sits on top of the world in her lotus pose, listening to the alm of the universe. It's a beautiful energy. Each one of these little lights, right? To me, they remind me of, these are lessons, right? These are deep-seated lessons that are learned, spiritual lessons, spiritual growth. And to be honest, those are the most trying lessons to go through, right? The spiritual ones with spiritual growth. They're the ones that really push us to the edge the most. <laughs> okay, now we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands represents the energy of being on the defensive. All right, feeling like you have to defend your actions, right? Defend what it is you <laughs> I'm telling my story right here. Uh, this is questioning yourself too, right? Defending yourself to yourself, if that makes sense, right? Second guessing yourself. Why do I do this, right? Okay, coming in at the center of today's Tarot Love Read, we have the Four of Cups, which represents the energy of boredom being bored, a little discontented with life, right? wanting and desiring more for yourself, but not having it. So you feel bored and discontent. They say that there's no such thing as boredom that exists in life, only people who choose to be bored, right? Turn the music down just a notch. jumped right out. 
We now have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, uh, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's a great energy, right? And the King of Pentacles, he's somebody you can trust. Why? Because he's experienced life. He's experienced the ups and downs of life, the agonies, and the thrills, the victories. Kind of like the old Olympics saying, right? The thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. The King of Pentacles has lived through them all. And he's still here. I don't know, I mean, the, what's popping out to me right now as I hold this card is these colors behind him, right? Ah, I've never noticed him like that before, but uh, those colors to me, they, they represent healing. Unconditional love and healing, right? So I feel like he comes from a place of unconditional love and healing. It's a good energy. Knows his value, knows his worth in this world. Okay, we now have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords represents the energy of making a decision, right? Making a choice. The figure in the card, she holds these swords up to her chest, right? One pointing to the right, the other pointing to the left. Which way should I choose? I don't know, I feel like intuitively she knows what decision is best already, right? But she just hasn't made that decision yet. that light that's piercing above that sword I feel like that sword is the better choice of the two it's pretty clear there is a superior choice over the other choice Okay, we have a few cards. Coming in underneath the world card, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is a great card. It represents abundance. It's abundance in its fullness. It's an abundance of abundance, if that makes sense. Right? It's abundant in all things. Abundance of love, success, recognition, friendships, happiness. Did I say love? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, the figure in the card sits at her tree next to the wildlife she's tamed. She has her castle behind her, right? She's surrounded by these 10 pentacles, all these trees and flowers and growth just representing abundance, right? She's earned hard, or worked hard to achieve this abundance. I say she, he or she. Okay. Coming in under the Seven of Wands, we have the Magician. This is one of my favorite cards in this tarot set. What do magicians do? They move unseen energy. That's what this magician does. He manifests with thoughts, words, and actions, right? So for somebody out there, you're manifesting. Stands above a crescent moon representing unseen energy. He stands above a white dove representing Possibly purification of heart with everything he's manifesting. He's manifest, manifesting from a place of unconditional love. Right? Okay, coming in under the Four of Cups at the center of today's Tarot Love Read is the Emperor, which is the card of Aries. So some of you could be with an Aries, or you may be an Aries. It's a good energy. Uh, the Emperor has to be trusted, trusted by people. So this is an energy you can count on that shows up. Uh, he holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. He wears the horn of the ram, representing power and strength. He follows the guidance of an eagle. 
I don't know if you look at this, if you look at, closely at this emperor, he seems like he's pretty sure-footed standing on top of that hill. Okay, we now have the Hanged Man. Hanged Man is coming in underneath the King of Pentacles. So, who knows? Maybe the King of Pentacles is ready to make a choice right now, ready to make a decision. That's what the Hanged Man represents. It's a card of sacrifice. He's hanging by his ankles with a blindfold over his eyes. A decision that he could have made, he or she, quite some time ago. But for whatever reason, they chose not to. So you're stepping into a time in your life now where you're ready to make this decision. Okay, coming in under the Two of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles represents a beginning. This is a beginning in the 3D. Oh, you mean it's tangible? Wow, an actual 3D beginning. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is, uh, can represent a new relationship, could be romantic, could be a new job, could be a new friendship, could be re relocating. Uh, but it's something that's tangible that you can feel in the 3D. It's that kind of beginning. cards taking us out of today's tarot love read we have the page of cups pages represent messengers right so this is news news coming into somebody of of a loving beginning right the figure in the card stares into this water lily that's illuminated in front of her it has a message in it it's a message of love she's trying hard to read it but she's unable to at this time it's a good energy Last but not least, we have the Justice card. Energy taking us out of today's Tarot Love Read. So it looks like justice is coming to somebody. She stands above the river of truth. In one hand, she holds her sword. In the other hand, she holds the scales of justice. It's a balanced energy. It's the card of Libra. So some of you could be in a relationship with Libra, or you may be a Libra. Kind of feeling like um, it's more of the energy that the card represents than anything else. It's justice coming to somebody. Maybe justice towards this new loving beginning. Possibly this new loving beginning with these lovers right here, right? Okay. I'm done with today's tarot love read. I need to take a look at it right now. I need to see where the cards are in terms of relationship to one another. And I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share with me by way of message. And then I can share the whole tarot read with you start to finish. So hang on just a few moments. Uh, enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music while I take a look at this. Okay, I, I mean, I think I have it. It's actually, it's this beautiful tarot read. Uh, beautiful tarot love read. Um, it's all about manifesting, right? It truly is. <clears throat> Opening affirmation, taking us into today's tarot love read is creativity, right? 
stepping this into some very creative times. This is pointing out your ability to think on your own and to think creatively, right? Think creatively about what it is you want to manifest in your life, right? And then creatively going about manifesting it. We have the Lover's card as the opening energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Read, right? So we're looking at manifesting love for two people. So for somebody out there, it looks like you're hitting the end of what may be some a very long journey, right? With painful lessons. Um, enlightenment has hit you. You're now graduating, allowing the lessons that you needed to learn, right? Accepting them and learning from them, taking you to a time of abundance in your life, right? Abundance of everything. Uh, so I don't know, this is like, this is like graduation. This is like graduation present right here. Yeah, it's interesting. Graduation and the graduation present. Upon graduation, the defensiveness, those energies of feeling like you have to defend yourself to others or maybe even defend yourself to yourself, gone. Going away, being replaced with the energy of the magician, right? recognizing that, hey, nothing to be defensive about. Just manifest something different for yourself, right? If it's not serving you, it's not working, let go of it. Manifest fresh. After all, you're a creator. You can manifest anything you want. So I think with this graduation, right, what it brings you is it allows you to leave this energy of feeling discontented in life, right? Feeling like your life lacks passion. Now you have your power back, right? It's like, ah, the heavy weight is lifted, it's gone. I have my power back, I'm the emperor, right? I know my value, I know my worth. Boy, and does the emperor ever show up. So for somebody out there, right? <clears throat> it looks like this king of pentacles it's ready to make a decision, right? Ready to make a, I don't know, maybe they've kind of hit, they've hit their breaking point where it's just, all right, it's time to decide. It's went on long enough. I'm gonna make a decision for myself. Coming out of hanging man mode, right? Making this decision, creating stability and security in your life. We're just talking about making a decision, right? Now we have the Two of Swords, a choice to make now. I want to create this new beginning for myself, this Ace of Pentacles. So in doing that, I choose and I choose wisely. Follow your, uh, as I say, follow your intuition, right? <laughs> I think what all of this read leads up to, <clears throat> I think it leads up to the beginning, a new beginning for somebody, right? A new beginning of love. Um, and for you, what it brings you, it brings you the energy of justice, right? Because this is something you've been desiring more than anything else, working on manifesting. Justice comes, justice is a beautiful thing. Okay, guys, thank you for letting me share today's Tarot Love Read. Um, sending out all kinds of unconditional love. I'm sorry I'm a little bit off kilt today, right? I know you guys understand. 
Um, you know, some days are light and easier and some days are just heavier. And I'm at a breaking point with me where over a certain matter, I just need to pull back the reins. I need to go a different direction. Uh, I need to step out of this cycle of insanity of expecting different results. So anyways, thank you very much for letting me share. Thanks for letting me share this tarot love read. It's a beautiful read today, by the way. Hope it resonates with you guys. Hope you're able to find your truth here. Hope this is a stepping stone to leading you towards more love and abundance in your life. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Have a beautiful day.